What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and to be honest, iTunes is basically dead. It's old and clunky, and who honestly just still uses it? It's time for a change, and that's what Dear Mob iPhone Manager does. All right, so here I am on my Mac, and I have been using Dear Mob iPhone Manager for some time. It's so much more easy to use, it's quicker, it's faster, and overall the interface is just so much better visually than iTunes, so I like it a lot. So I'm not gonna go and waste your time here, I'm just gonna go and jump right in. So here it is, Dear Mob iPhone Manager. I did go and connect my phone. So of course you do have to go and trust your phone just like with iTunes and then close out of iTunes so you guys can use this instead. Up here on the top, you guys can see it says my iPhone's name, which is my name. And over here it also shows how much storage you have as long with how much you have free. Now click on this button right here. You guys can see so much information about your device that's unreal. So you guys see your device's name, your phone number, the product type, and so much more. You can see the serial number even, the version it's on. And it's not it. I go to scroll down and there's even more information about my device, my IMEI, and which sometimes people ask for, for like certain apps, stuff like that. And just so much more. So all of it is over here. And it's just so convenient to have all this information right there. So I'm gonna go and click close. And on the top right, you can all see the battery on your phone. So that I thought that was pretty cool for some reason. And again, you can all see what version you're on. So I'm on 12.0.1. So I like the interface so much better than iTunes. And you can go to back up all your data over here too. So it's really cool. It's gonna go over to photos. So you can see here are my photos on my device. And you guys can see on the categories on the left, you guys got everything too. So that's really cool. Now on this, you can go and select individual images like this or you can hold down the shift button and select the end and it will select everything in between or you can hold down the command button and it will go ahead and select anything that you press so that's pretty cool too and let's go to select one image you can go and export it to your computer super easily i know many people like to do this transferring photos between their computer and phone and with this it makes it so easy so all i gotta do is click on an image or multiple images just like this and all I gotta do now is click on export. Just like that, it will start converting the photos and boom, just like that, I now have them on my computer. I can go and do anything with that, that I want with them, edit them, and yeah, so it's now on my computer. It's just as easy as that. Now I can also go ahead and delete photos right here. I can also group by month or whatever I want, by year, by day. And again, you can back up all of this to your computer very easily with this manager. Now let's head over to music. And over here, this is pretty cool too. So you got all my playlists, all my music on Apple Music. So this is so cool. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go over here for a second. You guys can see I'm gonna play the song. I'm gonna add it to a playlist. I can even click to make it a ringtone. Now I believe this feature is only for Mac OS Catalina, which is not fully out yet, but once that's released, it's gonna be really cool. And I can even go and export the music and I can also go and edit it. So this is pretty cool. I can edit the information about it, what it's named, stuff like that. Now, if I'm going to click on the export music option, you can see I can get it straight on my Mac just like that. And it's so, so cool. So now I have it right there. So I thought that was a really cool feature as well. So you got your entire Apple Music library right over here on your computer as well. You can go and play it from here too if I go and hit play. But yeah, you can also go ahead and add music right there. And let's go and hit edit. You guys can see I could change all the stuff about the song. So I could change the year name if I want to. I could change the song name if I want to. Let's go back. And if I go and click on video again, it's the same thing with basically like photos. So I could basically do the, all the same stuff again that I was able to do with photos, except this time with videos. So there's that too. Again, it's super easy to use. I don't really have to go into it to show you guys how to do it because again, it's so easy and it can back up your data. You can even encrypt the data. So, so you can see we have the option to back up your device. All you gotta do is hit back up now. You can choose to encrypt it or not if you want to. You can add a password or you can restore from backup. So let's say you got a new phone or you just restored your phone. You can go and restore it from a backup as well to get all your data back on. You can also go through your files. I don't really have much over here, but you can see you can go through that as well. Data security. So it says, please select a local image or video for encryption. So you can encrypt videos or photos that you want protection on. Go to content. Contacts, you guys can see everything over here. Podcast, books, voice. So this is over for the voice memos. Let's go back. SMS, you can back up all those too. You can see them on a computer as well. Calendar, your bookmarks, and also you can access your flash drive from here as well. Create new folders and just keep everything organized. So you can manage a USB device as well as your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So guys, that is Dear Mob iPhone Manager. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Also be sure to get subscribed for tons more content. Again, the link will be down below in the description. Thank you for watching. This is the Hackspot. Peace. Yeah. Look, lately I went missing with no permission, it's part of it I've been working harder than competition from start of it Now they looking at me, I see them all through the rear view Kill yourself to get your spot, then they die to be near you They think that I made it, cause I made it past them They were never the target, my target is past